Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Big welcome to you all. So today, guys, we've got some um, gameplay in the background, you know, instead of me just sat on Twitter, you know, moaning about video games like I always do. Got a bit of a head cold as well, so if my voice sounds a bit funny, um, I do apologise. But yeah, hopefully you've got something, you know, interesting to watch, especially if you aren't well aware of the game I'm playing, which is um, Insurgency Sandstorm. I'm just kind of like playing a wave-based um system here where you kind of defend and you know push the objectives so it, it on, on on this particular game mode we're actually pushing the objectives remember if you're new here guys please hit that subscribe button you know and turn notifications on click that bell and leave a like so yeah the gameplay in the background just basic in, insurgency sandstorm great video game you know it was like kind of once um this was kind of once described as an indie game but it's a really really good indie game it puts most you know triple a development you know first-person shooter video games um, on call, really. It puts them to rights, because this game has got a lot of content in it. It's really good, you know, really realistic. Um, One-shot, headshot, you know, a bit different to Call of Duty, but if I was a Call of Duty fan, all the video games I've played, this is kind of the nearest thing I think we've got to kind of like a fast-paced, you know, first-person shooter video game, even though it can be a bit slow-paced, but you can play this kind of like gaming, you know, several different play styles let's put it that way but you know this is probably the the most fun i'm having at the moment on a first person shooter video game i absolutely love this so more about the video guys um today i tweeted out earlier that i'm so bored of gaming right now that you know fifa 23 is boring it's more like a casino than a football game day z which you know i absolutely love watching the game but i've tried playing it solo and i just fall asleep um but we've got overwatch 2 coming out in a couple of days time so on october the 4th i'm hoping overwatch kind of gives me something to play until we get modern warfare 2 the dmz game mode why am i talking like an american dmz we say here in the uk um, i know america says z but anyway dmz mode now there's not much known about this mode or at least modern warfare 2 the dmz game mode i'm hoping that's going to be you know good enough to keep me going till um x defiant i have played x defiant I'm part of the insider sessions. Can't, well, I can talk about it, but basically it's like old school COD. All right. That is basically what X Defiant is like. And I'm not hyping the game up. I'm just saying it's like old school Call of Duty. There's a few abilities and stuff like that, you know, but it's core gameplay feels like, you know, a traditional COD game. So until X Defiant comes out, I'm kind of pinning all my hopes on, you know, Overwatch 2 and Modern Warfare 2, the DMZ game mode. Now, that's, there's not much known about it. It's supposed to be like a PvP versus Pv PvE game. So I'll say that again. Player versus player versus environment. So in other words, environment, there's going to be some kind of bots going around. Now, if you don't 100% know kind of what I'm talking about in detail, there's a genre what's on PC. So games like Estate, Escape from Tarkov. I can't even speak today. The Cycle. Then you've got like stuff a bit like Hazard Zone, maybe Division 1 and 2, the Dark Zone on there. Hunt Showdown, a lot of people will be aware of that. Um, there's a newish one called um, Marauders, and then a game called Dead Drop. A lot of these games are like player versus player versus environment, where you get loot, you extract, you go in a game. If you don't really know what I'm talking about, just go and Google like how Escape from Tarkov works of the cycle. You basically drop into a map, you loot as much as you can, you do objectives. Uh, the better you do, then you can extract. And I think it's a very, very good game mode. And we haven't really had anything like that on console. I know there's a lot of them on PC. It's mainly probably down to the inventory management, you know, that you can do it a lot better with a mouse and a keyboard. But, you know, we have had games where they've actually, you know, been able to do that on um, console. Not for a PvP versus E game. But there is games on console which kind of have managed to do that, you know, some of the battle royals. But, you know, basically this is just a video to say that the only thing I'm really excited for in Modern Warfare 2 is the DMZ mode. Even Overwatch 2, which... Sorry, Overwatch 2. Warzone 2. Um, I don't think that's going to be as good as Warzone 1. The beta came out. A lot of people played it. Even the people who was flown out, you know, shilling out at um, COD Next. Even they was, like, complaining about it. And they were there live playing it. So if they're complaining about it, got to help somebody who's you know, going to have an unbiased point of view. But, you know, for me, the only thing I'm excited about from Modern Warfare 2 is the DMZ mode. Yes, Overwatch 2 is going to keep me going. Um, but again, I can remember when Overwatch 1 came out, it was great for the first, I don't know, six months, and then it just turned into a toxic cesspool 
of a video game. So at this moment in time, all I'm really doing is playing this um, co-op versus AI. So, sorry, yeah, co-op versus AI mode on um, Sandstorm. Really, really enjoy this game. You know, realistic weapons, they all sound different. There's a lot of time, effort, and love got into this video game. And that's one thing what's actually missing in video games now is the love for what you're doing. You know, a lot of people just want to, you know, milk that cash machine. A bit like, you know, FIFA 23 this year. There's just more and more shit going into Ultimate Team. You know, which is disappointing. Same with Call of Duty these days. You know, there's all these stupid things in them. Um, and they're taking away from core time of the development of the game. You know, you, you guys let me know what you think. You know, I, I know there's people out there who actually enjoy Modern Warfare 2. But, you know, me, I just think it's straight up garbage. It's not what COD should be like. It's a lot more slow paced. Not really for me, if I'm being honest. I want fast paced first person shooters. Um, even though... You know, the game I'm playing now is pretty slow paced compared to, you know, the traditional COD game. But again, I'm playing against bots here. You know, co-op versus AI. There's some cool modes. And this will make you laugh, guys. Right at the end of this game, I'm like, okay, I'm having a pretty good time here just defending this flag. Um, I just had to actually go on and um, just figure out the keybind just to do single fire. Because, again, one um, bullet to the head kills you. So I call myself back in. I run straight out and I'm like, okay, just picking people off like you do. Da -da -da. <laughs> Chopper flies in, blows the shit out of me. I'm dead. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. But again, the only thing I'm looking forward to is uh, Modern Warfare 2, the DMZ mode, as well as Warzone 2, obviously. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Love you. Take it easy and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, cheerio. Bye bye.